and happy, happy Tuesday. Thank you so much for joining me in my studio. My name is Wendy Lee, and you can find me at creativelyyours.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the U.S. and very, very excited that you're joining me today for our crafty fun. Yay! Okay, April's a crazy busy month for demonstrators, and there's lots of opportunities for you as well. So, of course, to stay in the know with everything I've got going on, you definitely want to be on my email list. So if you go down into the description of this video, I think you have to hit show more, you will see that there is a link to join my email list. So if you're not already on my email list, get on that. You get a free tutorial bundle. I'm not talking one. I'm talking 10 to 12, sometimes 13. Uh, projects that I, uh, exclusive projects. I don't share these anywhere else. So they only go out to my email subscribers. And then sometimes I throw out some fun little exclusive offers um, for class kits and stuff like that as well. So get on my email list. That way you'll be in the know. So let me run through just a few things. So registration's going on right now for our April Cultivated Creativity DIY Paper Crafting Kit. This is the best kit, right? It's got everything you need in it to make five fantabulous projects, four cards and one not a card. You can see them behind me. And then we also have some extra special gifts this month. As you can tell, maybe from looking at the samples, we're going to include some of that uh, trusty tools designer series paper that you could use uh, or that you could earn back during our celebration promotion this past January and February. But you're going to get some of that for free, as well as some other surprises that I don't want to spoil. So I do have a sneak peek video on my YouTube channel. Do check that out and, and see what we're doing with the projects. I look at this and I've had someone say, but I don't need dad cards. It's fine. You can do so much with this without being dad cards. The kits are also going to include three sets of die cut alphabets. So you can create your own words with it. Yes. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. And there's some sentiments that aren't dad in there. So you can use them for any of the guys in your life or gals. I've shown some female versions as well. And I've got something for you today that you're going to love. So we're going to use the trusty tools today uh, to make a fun little treat holder. All right, what else is going on in April? So much. So my awesome April event is going on right now. And if you're not familiar with that, for every $50 you spend with me in my online store before shipping in tax, you, oh, it's not $50. It's every $25. What am I saying? Um, You get to choose an item from my crafty stash. So I've got some uh, gently use some brand new and some well-loved items that are up for grabs. Bundles do count as two, so that does require a $50 order, but you'll see all that on my website. Um, so this is a great time to take advantage of our last chance list. I know our favorites are retiring from our annual catalog as well as our occasions mini catalog. So get those before they're gone. There are several items that are carrying over um, like the trusty tools that we're going to be using today that um, aren't going to be carried as the bundled price. So you won't get that discount. So those are things you definitely want to check out as well. So shop, get your goodies before they're gone and take advantage of my awesome April special. Yay, 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 yay. All right. Um, I do also want to mention that we do have a new catalog coming up um, that will start in May. I've ordered boxes of catalogs and We'll have those ready to ship out, hopefully, as soon as they arrive. Um, so if you need a new catalog from me, let me know. If you've placed a $50 or more order with me in the last six months, that's October, November, December, January, February, March, then you will be on my list for a free catalog. But I need to know that you want one because many of us shop for multiple demonstrators, right? And you don't need every demonstrator to send you a catalog. I'm happy to send you one if you want one. Let me know so we can confirm your address and I'll get it right off to you. If you've not shopped with me before and you still want a catalog, I will have those available for purchase in my online tutorial store. All right, let's see. Oh, I will be doing catalog shares as well as an in color club coming up for this new catalog as well. The new in colors are fantastic. You can see a little bit. Um, no, I don't think this is one of the new colors. This is our uh, t-shirt that we had from um, backstage a few months ago. So I'm wearing my Stampin' Up! t-shirt. Um, but anyway, details will be coming out soon on those. So I think that's most of the updates. Who knows what else? That's why you need to be on my email list, right? All right, let's go ahead and switch over to our crafty phone. Yay! 
Okay, so as I mentioned, we're going to be using the Trusty Tools Stamp and Die Bundle. So this bundle, as the bundled price, is only available through the end of April. Um, these will carry over into the new catalog, but not at that discounted 10% off. So if this is one that's on your list, I highly recommend you getting it now. And I know that there's a dad and a Father's Day in there. But if that's not something you need, you can always cut the words apart. Um, you can definitely use the thank you, you're the most awesome, and also combine this with other stamp sets. I like um, combining it with the mini alphabet, the die cuts letters, which is super fun as well. All right, so today, what do I have in store for you? I have an adorable treat holder. So this is the one we're gonna make. Uh, you're the most awesome. What a great little gift to give the little guys in our life, right? All the guys in our life. Could be dad, could be brother, could be husband, could be friend. Um, so I think this is a fun little, just add in a couple Ghirardelli squares. You could put something else in there if you prefer. And then I thought, you know what? Why not make a gal one as well? So this one, I've actually pulled in one of our returning colors that's going to be in our new in color. So that is pretty in pink. So we have five new in colors coming and this is the designer series paper pack. So you can just get a little glimpse of this. Beautiful, I think they're yummy looking. I don't know the, a better way to describe that. So you've got polka dots and stripes. I love that. I love this paper print. Um, and you can tell I've cut out of this piece here. But this is part of what is currently available for demonstrators to pre-order. So if you are not yet a demonstrator and be interested in joining my Diamonds team, I'd love to have you. And then you can get your hands on these lovely pre-order items as well. I also added in some of these new gems right here. This is the Basic Gray and Smoky Slate Pearls. So that's what I've added down the side there. So I've kept this one a little more feminine. Um for the gals in our lives, right? And I left this trim, I'm gonna show you how to pull out some of the trim. I left this a little more intact and left that silver in there for the gal one. For the guy one, I frayed it out a little bit more to make it a little more manly. So let's get started on this project. We're gonna make the masculine version today and that's what your supply list is going to have in it as well. So this should be posting on my website as we're making this lovely project. So you'll see a link in the video description below and you'll be able to grab the project list that gives you the complete supplies and cut dimensions. All right, so let's get started. So I'm gonna set this aside. We are gonna start with a piece of pecan pie that is five and a half inches by three inches. And I'm gonna pull up my Simply Scored and I wanna score all four sides at one and one eighth. So let's get our marker at the one and one eighth inch mark. Let's get these others out of our way because we don't need those. Now, of course, you can use your paper trimmer. You don't have to use your Simply Scored. I just think this is an easy way to see it. So all four sides at one and one eighth of an inch. So this is going to be our little toolbox base. So this is leaving me about a three quarter of an inch wide base. You could always make this larger in case you wanted to put something like Ferrero Rocher or some little, um, uh, oh my gosh, I cannot think of the name. Like truffles, right? Okay, so grab my bone folder and let's go ahead and score on all of our lines here. It's always the key when you're dealing with 3D to make a nice crisp box, right? All right, so I've got that. And then let's go ahead and clip with our paper snips. So I'm gonna go straight in and straight in on my four sides. I'm rotating that and I'm gonna do that again. Okay, now, I want to clip my tabs, so I'm gonna miter those. I'm just gonna angle cut these. This way, if I don't have things quite squared off, it won't fight it, right, when I'm building my box. All right, and let's repeat that on the other side. So I don't wanna do the middle section, because that's gonna show, but we'll do these little tabs. Super easy peasy, right? All right, so now, on the back side of this, I am going to add some liquid glue to all four of these tabs, and I'm gonna let this sit for a minute. Liquid glue and I don't always get along, right? 
those that know me well know that. Um, so I'm gonna let it dry a little bit so I don't get quite as much ooze going on. So we're gonna set that up there and hope that we don't put our arm in it because I do tend to put my arm in it. <laughs> I would like to say I don't, but I do. I definitely do. All right, so next we're gonna die cut two pieces of pecan pie with this lovely die here um, from the Trusty Tools die set. And then we're gonna run it through the embossing folder, the Trusty, or the Timber 3D embossing folder. So now that gives me two pieces that have a nice wood grain texture and the uh, the dot appearance from the um, from the die. So I think this is kind of fun. So it looks like a little wood grain toolbox. Fun, fun, fun. Now I also am die cutting from my trusty tools dies the handle here. So I've done that in basic black and I've cut four because I'm going to double those handles up. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's get these on the back side here. I'm gonna double them so that they're a little more sturdy. I didn't do that on my original one and felt like it was just a little bit, um, not as stable as it could be, right? So on the girl one, my girl tools, I, um, I went ahead and doubled it up and liked that much better. All right, so we are just going to layer these right on top of each other. Let's pick that up. Make sure we're nice and even. Get that all together. Oh, I don't know what I did. All right. All right, so there's one handle. Let's get our second handle. So I have both of them with the right side facing out on the inside as well as the outside. So they're wrong sides together. Does that make sense? Or the back sides are glued together. That way both sides are pretty. Okay, now I wanna glue these to my little front bases here. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue. We're using liquid glue today. Not my favorite glue, but for some things like this, it is the perfect glue, right? So I am going to place that right on there, centered. Okay, whoops. This is what I don't like about liquid glue, is that it doesn't dry very fast. So there's a love-hate with that for me, right? Okay, so we're gonna lay that there. Now, to make sure that they're both even, I'm gonna lay the next one right on top of the first one I built, right? And then I will also do the same thing where I put this right on top and hopefully this one behaves. All right, so we're just gonna let that sit. If I can separate them a minute, I'm gonna let that sit and we'll go ahead and assemble our box because this is dry enough now that I shouldn't get too oozy and messy. All right, so I'm gonna just fold those tabs in and adhere those right together. Now, if you wanted to, you could have put the tabs on the outside. I can't do that at this point because of the way I did my glue. But if you didn't want to see this seam, um, you could have put the tabs to the in or to the outside because you're going to cover that front and back with this lovely um, toolbox, wood grain toolbox. All right, let me just give those a quick rub with my bone folder. Make sure everything is nice and secure, right? And then we're ready to decorate this. So I'm gonna use my liquid glue again. Just scribble a little bit on there. Again, I don't want it super thick, right? And then I'm gonna place this centered. So it's a little bit longer than what I've done. Um, but I did that intentionally. So it's centered left to right, best that I can. So that is why we're using liquid glue, right? That's easier to do with liquid glue than any other adhesive because you can, you have that moment where it doesn't dry that you can slide it as need be. So the plus, the pluses of liquid glue, <laughs> right? All right, so there's that one. And we're gonna do the exact same thing. I'm butting it even to the bottom and trying to center it left to right. So we can make sure that that's nice and flat when we lift that up. Okay, let's rub that a little bit. Okay, so how cute, right? So there is our lovely box ready to put 
a couple of our Ghirardelli squares in there. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and put my breads on this. So I am using the rustic metallic dots. Sadly, these are going away as well. So there's a few things you're definitely when I'm gonna get on your list before they're gone, right? These are one of my favorite embellishments. I hate to see them leaving us, but that just means new stuff is coming. So stock up on the items that you love the most. I'm gonna put the larger one right up at the top because I wanna look make that to look like it's like a brad handle, right? Add it to the handle. And then we're gonna use the littler ones, maybe a little excessive, but how cute, right? So again, this would be great for dad. This would be great for um, a friend. Whoops, I popped it right off. Maybe a brother, change the colors and make it a girl one. This would be a great teacher gift. There's so many, so many fun ways to use this, I think. How fun, a play setting maybe at Father's Day. That would be good too. All right, so if I wanna give those a really good push, I'm gonna slide my bone folder in to give me something to push against, right? Now, I could have put these on before I glued this layer down, but I think I do better if I don't do it that way. All right, perfect. Okay, let's do our sentiment next. So I have got the smallest deckled rectangle that I have cut, uh, a piece of real red cardstock. We're gonna grab our embossing buddy. It's gonna help us not get some of those loose, um, uh, what am I thinking? The loose powder pieces, right? And I've got my yucky Versamark, this is an old pad. Still keeps going though. And we're gonna stamp this down on our sentiment here. And then let's heat emboss this with black embossing powder. We could have stamped this in black ink, but I feel like the embossing adds an extra layer of surprise to it and awesomeness, since it is awesome, right? Why not? And then we are going to heat this with our heat tool. So let me see, I've got my tweezers. So we'll hold that so I don't burn myself with a small piece. I'm gonna heat my heat tool up off camera. Just turn it on, letting it run a little bit to get warm. Okay. And then I'm gonna hold it right over the top. And I am just waiting for this, let's not get the chocolate in there. I'm just waiting for this to melt the powder. So inch, inch and a half, there you can see it hopefully, away from your cardstock. And then you'll just slowly move it across until it melts all the powder. So it becomes shiny. Cool, I hope you guys can see that. You don't wanna overheat that. Um, because it, it could turn, uh, once it once it turns shiny, you wanna be done. It'll turn dull if you overheat it and it could even brown the paper. Um, so you wanna try to avoid that. And it's, it's cool to the touch pretty quickly. Um, so you'll be able to handle it. All right, so next I've got about a 10 inch strip of my um, silver threaded twine, but it's, it's a pretty chunky uh, twine. So I only want a few strands. I'm gonna go ahead and ravel this end here. So you can use it as is, or you can pull out and use as much as you want. So I'm gonna pull out maybe three strands. So I'm just gonna grab one. Let's grab a second one. Mm, I think that's a little bit more, but that's okay. If I can get them both out. No, nope, I can't get them all out at the same time. It doesn't like that I've grabbed as much as I have. There we go. Dogs in the background. All right, so I'm gonna go with these four. How about that? Okay, and then I'm gonna twist them back together a little bit. It's okay if they're loose. All right, now let's add some stamp and seal to the back of this, right? And then I'm gonna loop this around. So let's go ahead and put the end right in that stamp and seal. And I'm going to loop this. There's a small loop. And then kind of push those fibers together. And then I am going to loop a larger one 
behind as well. Now, do I need all that I've got on here? Probably not, so I can clip a little bit of that off if you don't need it, or you can just stick it down, whatever makes your heart happy, right? Now, if you wanted to use some household tape to uh, secure this, you could. Um, I didn't find that I needed it, um, but that works out okay. Okay, so now we want to add a couple of little tools. So with my trusty tools dies, I have die cut a wrench with the holographic paper that is also on the last chance list, some crushed curry cardstock, I've cut the little level, and then I've got a little screw that I've cut using this one out of the holographic paper as well. So now on the screw, I have adhesive backing on the back of it. You could just use um, liquid glue to put it down, but I had actually cut a whole bunch of them. And so mine does have adhesive sheet on the back. So I'm just gonna peel that off and stick it down. How fun is that? So adhesive sheets are a great tool to have in your crafty arsenal to make things nice and easy peasy. All right, let's go ahead and I'm going to adhere my wrench and level together. So let's go ahead and use a little bit of liquid glue here. Just a tidge. I want to kind of overlap those together. So maybe about like that. Don't overthink it, just put them down, right? And then we're gonna put a little bit more adhesive because we are going to adhere this to the front of our toolbox. So let me bring this in. And I have it sticking up out of the toolbox here. Now, could we have put it inside the toolbox instead of on the front? We sure could. But I thought this was just a different way, kind of fun way to go about putting this on here, decorating it without uh, interfering with the candy on the inside. All right, so let me grab some dimensionals. Okay, and I'm gonna place some dimensionals on my sentiment layer here so that it is going to be nice and secure. I'm a little excessive here. And I can't really, I could put dimensionals over the top of that um, twine, but it is still a little bit bulky. So it will make it uneven if I do that. So this is why I'm choosing not to mess with that. And then I'm gonna lay this right across. How fun is this? I love it. Kind of move that around where you want it. And let me slide my bone folder back up under there to go ahead and stick that down really well. Give that a good press. How fun, right? Do you love it? So now we have the perfect little guy treat holder. Right? How cool. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Let me bring the, the girl one in too so you can see that again. So I think these are a fun, fun little giftable and I hope that you will give them a try. So don't forget that our, um, our trusty tools, Cultivated Creativity DIY Paper Crafting Kit registration ends on the 20th of April. So that's just in a couple of weeks. Today is April 9th, if I didn't say that earlier. And I am live in the chat. I totally forgot to tell you guys this. I'm live in the chat with you if you're watching this video premiere at the time that it launches on YouTube. Um, so I'm here answering questions. If I didn't answer your question um, or you're watching the replay, leave me a comment and I will answer any questions there as well. All right. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this and have a good time making your little trusty toolboxes. All right, bye for now.